Hey y'all, Steve here. Today I want to share with you a video editing tip that I use a lot, especially when I'm dealing with large video files. My buddy the Irix guy sent me a video file from one of his recent uh, DJI Phantom quadcopter flights and he dropboxed it to me and the file itself was almost two gigabytes. Alright, that's a pretty large video file but I just needed segments of that two gigabyte video file and I wanted to pull those smaller segments into my video editor which is Final Cut Pro 10. So how did I do it? I used a program, it's a free program, it's called MPEG MPEG Stream Clip. This is a program that's very similar to QuickTime but this makes it very easy for me to grab clips out of the entire video that I want and pull those smaller files into my video editor. MPEG Stream Clip is free. I'll put a link in the description below and you can download it to your computer. It's really easy to use and I will show you how to open up a video clip right now using MPEG Stream Clip. Alright, right here we're looking at my desktop where I have the video that I want to open up. I have it highlighted. It's titled Hero 3 Black Edition MOV. I'm going to right click that and I'm going to also click Open With. And since I've downloaded the MPEG Stream Clip program to my computer, I can just run it all the way down here and click MPEG Stream Clip. So let's open up this clip with that. Click it. And now I've just opened up that entire large video clip with MPEG Stream Clip. All right, now I can play a little piece. Just click the play button. All right, now like I said, this is a very large video clip almost two gigs but I only want to grab certain segments out I don't want to pull the entire large video file into my editor so what do I do let me show you what you do alright once you've found where you want your clip to begin and you can use this little scrubber right here with your mouse and scrub to wherever you want your video to start once you've determined that all you have to do is hit the I on your keyboard and that tells it it's an end point so I've clicked my endpoint and now let's find an out point and let's for the sake of this video let's just do it right here now I'm going to click the O on my keyboard for an out point so now I've selected an endpoint and an out point the next step is I'm going to cut this clip out of this large clip so I'm going to do a command T uh, that is on a, um, I'm on a Mac, so Command T on a Mac, and I apologize, but I don't know what the same, um, I do not know what the same command would be on a Windows PC, so, but hit Command T. Now, I have totally separated that out, and I am going to go up here to the top, click File, I'm going to Save As, I'm going to save it as Clip one. I'm going to save it to my desktop and hit the save. Now let's go to my desktop. Right here I'm on the desktop and you can see the clip one has saved it and it's only 123.8 megabytes. So now I've actually saved just a clip, a small clip, small video file, and now I can pull that into my Final Cut Pro 10 editor. So let's do that now. Let's go ahead and hide this player. Let's go up here to Final Cut Pro. I'm going to do a file, import media. It's going to bring my importer up. I'm going to click desktop. And right here you can see clip one. It's the one I just saved and I'm going to import it. Okay, here we go. I've pulled that clip in. It's a small file size and I didn't want that whole thing. 
So now I've just pulled in the file that I wanted. All right, that's it. When you are dealing with large video file sizes and you only need a certain segment, a certain clip out of the larger size, use MPEG Stream Clip to get the job done. That's how I use MPEG Stream Clip to grab individual sections of a video clip and pull those into my editor. It's so much easier to use than pulling in very large video files. Hey, I'm Steve. I hope this was helpful. I'll see you guys in my next video.